hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing super well welcome back so this is a very very exciting vlog um if you can tell from behind me i am in a very very empty very very quiet cold thailand phuket airport it is currently 20 past four in the morning and i've just left the hotel um if you didn't already know i have been in thailand for the last three months um and i have been as a rep for camp thailand and it's just been just i literally cannot even comprehend how incredible it's been but the journey is not over so i was meant to finish my um season here with camp today this is meant to be my day that it was going to be all over and i was meant to be going on with my travels or potentially finding a job um and camp have very kindly just they've just been amazing like i got offered a job and then i got it turned down because of my age and they've just been just incredible and they've sorted me out with so many different opportunities so the first one is i am flying today to cambodia which i am so excited about i feel really like a mix of emotions i'm very nervous because i feel very in the dark about sort of everything and um, this was planned very very quickly and um, so i'm flying to cambodia for six days and i am going with camp i'm going with camp cambodia it's an add-on tour and i'm actually just being flown there as a guest um but i'm also there to work and get content for the team um and see what the cambodia trip's like give feedback da -da 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 -da. So i'm very very excited for that a little bit buzzing um so six days and then i fly back to phuket complete one week of island explorer and then i'm off to vietnam the next couple of months are just absolutely crazy i'm here there and everywhere so i'm very very excited to take you guys back along i have wanted to document but honestly you as a wreck you think that it's like not going to be as much time but you are on the go 24 hours a day it's, it's insane so yeah i'm currently at the airport my flight is not till 6 45 um but I didn't even know that the check-in doesn't even open until five o'clock so i'm literally sat here for like 40 minutes no problem i've just said goodbye to the group um which i get sad every time that they got me the cutest little gift they got me a little rucksack which i really wanted and then they've done like a little book which was super super cute so i'm very very happy with that so thank you guys so much um and yeah, it's always an emotional one leaving and because this is my last group it's even more emotional so um yeah I am, so yeah, flying to Cambodia today. I'm flying with Air, Air Asia. My first flight is to Bangkok, then Bangkok to um, Cambodia. And then I'm meeting the team there. We're going to do the next five, six days of fun and very, very excited and looking forward to it. just made it so it was a really really simple flight i flew with air asia and they were fabulous from start to finish no problems at all would 100 percent fly with them again they are a budget airline out here but they were so super well and so super good um so i arrived to cambodia and on the plane you have to do a immigration form a like a that form you know when you bring things into the country that one i can't think of the name off the top of my head and a covid one to do three different forms and then when you arrive into cambodia you have to pay for a visa visa is 30 dollars so around 25 pounds um and that will last you one month and that's I'm sort of you can do as you please um so i'm only here for six days but obviously you've got to have one of those you can pre-pay for it as well it takes about 10 minutes to do um and you have to have cash if you are coming to cambodia make sure you bring some cash um and then it's about, it was about a 20 minute journey to the hostel i'm going to give you a full-on hostel tour um i am actually working with camp on this um so i'm feeling very very blessed so it's gonna be a lot of content lots of it's just gonna be major there's the cutest little cat as well that is just walking over to me oh it's so cute little buddy 
Hey. It's obviously the hotel's cat. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you the room um, and then show you a little rounds around the hotel. Um, it's actually classed as a hostel, but it's really, really nice. Um, and then I'm gonna have some lunch and wait for the other guys to get here because the other group um, that are joining me out here are coming by via a bus. I got a plane because obviously I've not been on Camp Elephant. Um, so camp is basically camp thailand's elephant um the program this is like an add-on to that or a 12 day um it's an add-on so you can do it um as an add-on and it's generally something so good it's not that much extra if you do decide to add it on i'm, I'm gonna put all the prices and things on the screen um, and talk about it throughout the trip hello buddy this cat is cute I love okay guys so this is the room we have got two beds in here for being a hostel this is absolutely fine um and then a little desk here i've just put my stuff off so i'm gonna move it when the um my roomie comes in and then you've got this section here and then a shower and off the toilet so very very standard but very um nice for a hostel and it's going to be so weird because i haven't shared a room with anyone for like three months now so it's going to be very very strange but i'm actually quite excited for it and um, you know a roomie but yeah so it is pretty here. quiet in this yeah, hostel due to cambodia just starting to open up after covid however the staff here were incredible there's a bar there the beers are so little as 75p a dollar and the rooms are super clean super nice everything you really need they do cocktails and buckets and everything and they do breakfast lunch and dinner the service here is just what makes the hostel and it's so quirky you can sign your name at the end of the trip there's a pool with some beds and it's right near the center as well so it's everything that you could actually want here you can see people have wrote on the wall and it's a nice little guarded separate bit as well and it does close at night so safety wise hi guys so we are just headed out now for some dinner um and we're gonna go and watch i think a show um i don't actually know the exact name of it but i've just gotten ready this is my outfit i also just got a sim card it was two dollars i don't actually know what's on it um the guy didn't speak any english um and i didn't have any internet to google translate so that's the realities um but everyone's here now just checked in um my roommate charlotte uh spoken to her met her and yeah i'm gonna go up to dinner so i'll see you along and i'm gonna go down to About the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together We both fall down Doesn't matter if the sun goes up Cause we will still be high when the lights are Good morning everyone, we are up bright and early at half past four to go and watch the sunset at Angkor Wat Temple. Very, very excited. Um, I haven't seen a, sorry, not sunset, but sunrise, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just dressed like this, obviously cover my shoulders. Um, very, very excited to go and watch it. Um, and I Angkor was so Wat excited for today. Incredible. I felt a rush of emotions that I was actually in Cambodia. So we set off in our tuk-tuk, then we made it to the ticket gate. You have to get some photos done before and the price without being part of Cambodia camp is around 35 pounds and then we took a walk um to Angkor Wat and oh my god guys it was stunning it was a little bit cloudy however I would so recommend getting up early and getting to see it because it was super busy but just so beautiful 100% worth it and it was one of the biggest largest religious monuments in the world and you could see why it was so popular so guys it is 
is it now? Okay. And then 10 to 8. Yeah, we owe you 25. Okay, we're okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, and we've just ordered some pancakes <laughs> after yeah. the temple. Uh, so we're going to have some breakfast and then head Money to our for. next temple. Do not worry about it. just left. Oh, Charlotte's here. Oh. Um, we just had some breakfast um, and now we're on our way. We're on our I was going to say, it's a this stop is, the, it? for a while, yeah. 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 Hi, welcome to Cambodia. Say oh. mama here. Thank you. Woo. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything evening everyone so it's a little bit later now it is about um it's just coming up to eight o'clock um i've had about a three and a half hour nap obviously we got up really really early this morning and we are off out for dinner um and drinks this evening i am just wearing this little outfit it's cute it's simple um i love this top though it makes me feel so nice um so yeah we're gonna go to a mexican and then we're gonna go to the pub called walking street to have some drinks but i'm gonna have a pre-drink here um and everything like that so i'm just packing my bag um we've had such an amazing day honestly if you are in cambodia ever please go to angkor wat we went to um two other temples and um, banyan temple i can't remember the last one um that was in the tomb runner and then we went to the killing fields and the killing fields were so touching and emotional um it was really really nice to watch and to see um and it was definitely educational as well so yeah off out and I'll i've been to many mexicans in my so life, life and this one was great i really enjoyed it it was so good i actually managed to forget to film the food maybe later mexican right next to pub street and then we actually headed to pub street we were all pretty tired from the day have we tried to make the most of it we went to x bar and you had to climb up a ramp to get to the bar which was really really good fun there was some good music here's our amazing tour guide and the views were unreal and we had a really good night had a couple of drinks and then called it an evening and headed back to bed because we were getting up again for a full-on day good morning everyone so it is now friday um I've just woken up <clears throat> so just put my bikini on and things it is currently 11 o'clock we had a little late one last night <clears throat> i actually didn't drink too much last night i really wasn't feeling it like i haven't had the need to drink on this trip i don't know what it is um but that's absolutely fine like if you want to drink you can if you don't want to drink you don't have to but we did need a long sleep because obviously we've been woken up um pretty early the last couple of days so needed a good lie in i am up for the rest of the guys because i'm going to get some breakfast in this trip you do get your breakfast included in the hotel which is insane the breakfast looks amazing so i'm really really excited to try it so i'm going to give you a full honest review and yeah let's see what today's got on hold we're doing a bike tour today which i'm very excited for don't know how i'll be because i am very unfit if you didn't know but i'm really looking forward to it um and then we've got tonight which i'm really 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 excited for we're going to um nanu's house who is our um driver as well as like the operations manager here and we're going to his house and we're doing a barbecue we're seeing his family having some drinks and it's going to be really wholesome and so lovely i'm really really looking forward to it so yeah that is what we're getting up to today and there was so much choice at breakfast and it was insane every day the staff in this hotel just weren't like incredible every time um so i had a cup of tea and some pineapple juice and i had some banana pancakes and they were delicious so guys i'm ready and we are off on our bike ride wish me luck i hope i am not the unfittest person let's do this 
Hey so guys, we've just picked up our bike. This is my one. We're gonna go. Not sure where we're going, but I'm very excited. Some bike move. Hey, you plug it and squeeze it a bit. Smell it. Um, <laughs> do you guys know what it is? It's, it's a poo. Do, a normal do farm sheet. Oh, that one's having a hole. Then it turned to very nice comfort for the right field. The cows are already outside to eat the grass. Do you know the pigs? I don't think so. It's on top of them. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a pot. Come on, Alicia. Hey guys, so we are at Nana's. Nana, say hi. Hi. House, um, and we have just cycled here. We have just met his family, and we're having a barbecue. And guys, there's these puppies here. Oh my god. Kaka. 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 Look how tiny they are. Kaka. Kaka. Hello. Hello. Got cute. And he has prepared. All this for us, which is so kind. Then, then, and they be like, and then I kick to the goal. Yay! Yay. When, go. when I kick, then that went. Then I kick, and it was it was so straight. Uh. <laughs> Hello, guys. We have just gotten back from. Mr. Nanu's house, um, we call him Nana, his house, um, I just, I needed to sit outside and talk to you guys for a bit, just because I need to reflect on today, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Today has been one of those days where, you know when you really have to like, pinch yourself, and it's not like one of them like, oh, I pinched myself because I was at an amazing beach club, or I, you know, went to an amazing restaurant, this was like a full experience and a half like generally like not to be cringe but this has been one of the best days a since i've been away it's up there as one of my top five and most incredible memorable days and one of the best days of my life like i don't know what it was but i was so we so we started riding our bikes and we rode through the countryside we rode through the rice fields we met a local some local farmers um and i actually gave them some money um because i just was like this is amazing and i know that they do not have a large income um and i didn't do it to like be a particular like somebody but i just want to do it because i realize how fortunate i am and i feel like everybody should give back um, especially if I'm coming into your house and learning about all your stuff and things then we just like literally just rode around the countryside and saw genuine people genuine farmers workers that live in Cambodia and that are working for near to nothing a day um, and it just made me really like wow like I rode for a little bit by myself just a little bit back from the group and I just really wanted to like be like oh my god like I'm in Cambodia like I'm seeing real life people that have got real struggles and are real life people and they're not fake on social media and their main thing isn't about how many likes and followers they've got. It was just a real like humbling experience. And then we went to Nanu's house, Nana's house and he made food for us and his whole family were there. There were children there um, and we had some, um, some chicken and some rice and it was just incredible and we played karaoke and the children came over from the neighborhood and they weren't on their ipads they weren't on their phones and we were just dancing and singing and playing card games and having beer they made us their local cambodia um cocktail and generally when i say this if you are doing camp thailand and i'm gonna get every single one of the guys here because there's five of them here we've got two charlottes we've got raf we've got um literally on blank heather and elise and generally they have said it's incredible like it's um charlotte my roommate was just saying to me like it's the best 300 pounds she spent like it is it, it's just amazing like thailand is i you know how much i love it but cambodia feels differently um and if you're coming to camp elephant or coming to 12 day adventure do it without a doubt like it's not even a question and i'm not saying that because i a work for the company or i've sent, been sent here i really can't emphasize it enough the team leaders here are incredible now we did pay a little bit extra to go to nanny's house because he um like paid for the food and the transport and stuff um and i just paid a little bit extra because i was like take that home to your children because there were three children they're two new baby dogs um and 
yeah, I've just got to reflect on the day because it was so, so good. And yeah, I'm going to go to bed now. We're getting up early, early in the morning and going to the waterfalls. I'm going to be very, very excited. I'm going to have an omelette in the morning, which I'm buzzing for. Um, yeah, just going to edit some photos, um, reflect on the day and have an early night ready for the waterfalls tomorrow and our last full proper, proper day. And then we transfer to Bangkok on Sunday. Good morning, everyone. It is now Saturday and we are off to a waterfall today very buzzing for it looking forward to it um just packed my bag and take my dry bag today this little bad boy if you haven't got one of these and you're coming traveling get yourself one because they have been a lifesaver i'm wearing this cute little bikini from sheen that i bought actually out here um i've got my hair in a little plait and we're gonna go i've just had breakfast had a lovely delicious omelette um had a lovely reflect on the yesterday evening and yeah we're off and we i don't know how far it is actually then we, we were off now. to the waterfalls uh, yeah, it was actually not a bad drive the van was completely air conned we had the music going and we were excited so everyone we have had about a hour long journey in a van to get to the viewpoint we yeah we're just at the viewpoint now and then we're going to head to the waterfall looks very nice from up here see if we can take some photos and then jump back into the van and head to the waterfalls Alrighty. By the way, I don't like bananas, but I'm trying it for the culture. Culture! Wait. Wait. This one's super ripe. Oh, wait. Wait. Not eat a bit. Oh. We do a picture of us. <laughs> oh, me? One second. Because I've got my camera. Oh, like, can, can you take a photo? <laughs> one sec. I've never got my camera open. One sec. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, no. no, you can't eat it. Uh, no, wait, 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 my camera's blurry. <laughs> <laughs> my camera's blurry, one sec. That's what I was thinking, the circumference is amazing. We're gonna need like a, a wide bit. They are good bananas. Bit, <laughs> 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 he wants another. We want to take a bunch of bananas. I know, I get one too. Yeah. These are some fresh bananas that our tour guide Taya actually bought us. And these guys, Charlotte and Raph, they were incredible, and can you guess that they were from my hometown, Angels? Hi, Raph, uh, Hi guys. Heather and Brooke and Heather's here. takeover. And today Early. we are going on a boat. We are at the floating village. This actually village. cost us an extra twenty-five pounds oh, oh, for this trip, but we wanted to experience the whole culture of Cambodia. It was incredible. We got to see the floating houses, the alligators that lived in this lake, and we saw children driving these boats. And it was true immersing ourselves in the locals. And we learned so many facts, and we watched the beautiful sunset, and it was just incredible. And it was such a nice way to round up the trip here in. Cambodia. So guys, we are saying our goodbyes to the lovely hostel and we are on our way to Bangkok. Six hour journey on 50% phone charge because my phone didn't charge last night. Let's do this. <laughs> 